Hey, what's up guys? I just want to do a quick tutorial on how I have my hardware uh, monitor screen set up. Uh, I'm currently using Rain Meter and HW Info. Uh, and uh, I'll quickly show you the skin that I'm using with Rain Meter. It's pretty customizable. I, I like it so far. There is other alternatives. I think like Ada64 I haven't tried yet but uh, I've heard good things about it. I'm definitely going to try that and see how that does in comparison. Um, but most importantly, you could use any LCD screen. Um, the one I purchased was this here. It was for Raspberry Pi. Uh, the most important thing is make sure you have HDMI in, and um, most cases you'll need a separate power, which is going to be via USB. Uh, so yeah, just make sure make sure you have those with it. I use this one. You don't necessarily need this one. You, there's so many options. Go with whichever one you prefer. Uh, again, just make sure you have HDMI. Um, what you'll also need is a uh, rain meter. I downloaded the final release. Haven't test tried the beta, so download, install the final release. And you'll also need HW Info installed. Uh, once you install their software, you could go to their add-on section and they'll have the rain meter plugin which is version 3.2.0 go ahead and download and install that plugin and uh, it'll, it'll set up in here you'll go ahead and get a skin for HW info don't really mess with that but uh, as for my da uh, skin that I use I use dashboard 1.9.1 and um, I'll link that in the description uh, but so far this is the one that I've been using. I like it. Very customizable. Uh, you could definitely change it to your liking. Uh, so what you'll want to do is go ahead and download this. And once it's downloaded, you could go ahead and install the skin. It'll, once it's installed, you'll get a, a new folder here called Dashboard. And within that, you'll have multiple folders of... Uh, all the presets that's in here. Uh, so for my current setup, I'm just using five gauges. Uh, I'm doing my CPU temp, my CPU load, my RAM usage, GPU temp, and GPU load. Uh, so pretty much right away, all of these will work once you enable them. The only one I really had to configure was my CPU and um, I'll show you quickly how to set that up. So let me go ahead and drag those over from my screen to my desktop. Let's see here. So yeah, pretty much all these immediately started reading correctly except for my CPU temp. Uh, so to enable them, uh, probably once you first start Rain Meter, you'll get a lot of these options, uh, other windows open, other skins open rather, welcome skins and everything. What you could do is you could just right click and unload those skins uh, to get rid of them off your, your desktop there. But uh, once you go to your dashboard, let's say we want to go to our CPU temp. When you expand that folder, you're going to have four different types of uh, skins. You have a left high, left low, right high, and a right low. Uh, right now I have my left high configured how I want it. So I'm going to go to, let's say, right high. Right now, this is not configured at all. In fact, it's not reading because it's not configured. Uh, so uh, choose whichever style you like. Uh, again, I'm using this one right now. It's already configured, but let's go with right high. So once you get it set up, uh, one thing I like about this dashboard is they have settings in there where you can adjust the scale of the size of it. And um, you don't even have to edit the text to do that. Actually, you just hover over it, uh, that skin, and you could scroll up or down and it'll adjust it. Uh, which is very convenient. I th for the most part I saw where you had to edit the others in the text file. Uh, so that makes this one convenient for sure. Um, get it to the size that you prefer. 
definitely on your your LCD screen that way you could see and, and scale it to size uh, once you get it set up what you'd want to do is configure the settings uh, to be able to read the CPU what you do is right click go to edit skin and you get a little text notepad this is all the text settings for it and um, what we're going to do is put our ID on here for it to read our CPU tip. Now, uh, the plugin that you downloaded from RainMeter, let's see, if that's going to have a exe file that you'll be able to get those IG ID addresses from. So if we go to our documents, RainMeter, skins, and you should see a folder hardware info. If you go to resources, here's the HW info shared memory viewer. Go ahead and open that. Okay. And um, here's where we're going to get our ID. This is pretty much telling uh, the skin where we're going to get the data from. Uh, so for me, I pulled the CPU temperature from our CPU DTS. So what we're going to do is we're going, going to expand that and um, here's where you could get the ID for each individual core what I did I just wanted one temperature I went with the CPU package and uh, in here you'll get your sensor ID your sensor instance and your entry ID these are the three that you're gonna need to be able to uh, record that so one thing I noticed with the standard text file, it is missing some important details from here. What I'll do is I'll add in the description those details to add. So for that, to get those, I'm going to go to the one I've already modified. So if we go to edit, pull up my other text file here, and um, scroll down a little bit, we have the code that we're going to add, which is mostly this here. So. In the description, I'll make sure to add this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this over. You're gonna completely replace this. Paste. And we're also gonna add the measure core temp. Completely paste that in there. Okay, so what we need to add is our temp ID instance and entry ID. And that's what you would get from here. So again, if you wanna do an individual core, just make sure you select it and I'll give you those IDs. For me, I'm going CPU package. So we'll get our ID and we'll paste it right after the equal sign. There's no space. Uh, so right after the equal sign, you post your ID, your instance, which is this right here, and your entry ID, which will be this right here. So you'll make sure you get all those, plug those in. Any changes you make to this text file, just make sure you go to File, Save. And uh, once you save it, again, you'll notice uh, it's still not recording anything. But anytime you make any changes to the text file, what you'd have to do is go to that skin, right click, and refresh. And here we go. So once I refresh it, now it's pulling my CPU temperature. Uh, so this, uh, what you'd want to do is make these changes to any, anything you want to add on there. If it's not reading correctly, go ahead and pull those from that, uh, entry viewer program. So as you'll notice, the standard, uh, skin is all blue. And of course mine right here are different colors. You could definitely change those. Uh, to get to those settings, if we'd go back to, like right now we're using the right high, um, but those settings are not in that text file. There's actually a another setting folder which is going to be, and uh, the easier way to do it is go to your dashboard folder, right click, open folder, and we have a resource folder go to resources and you have a settings file go ahead and open that settings file and in here is pretty much all the code for your color presets 
uh, your fonts, and uh, for the rings themselves. So uh, this is kind of like the foundation code for everything. Uh, so right now we're we are what the right high. Um, you'll have pretty generic code on here for uh, just preset. I think there's three colors. You can add as many colors as you like. Just please note within the code, code you have semicolons. The semicolons is ignored by the code. It's pretty much where a semicolon is, it's ignored. You could do a semicolon and put a note. That way you could kind of keep track with your, um, you know, with which each of these do. Uh, so for our color one, they had multiple colors. So all you'd have to do is, let's say you wanted, mine's blue right now, but let's say if I wanted to go with a yellow, I'd put a semicolon in front of blue and I'd delete the semicolon from yellow. We're gonna save that. Now I'm gonna go over here and refresh now it changes it to yellow. So uh, just to give you a quick rundown on how this works if you're not familiar with it. So we'll go ahead and save that back the way it was. Change that back to blue. Refresh. So that's our color one. Color two, I had changed it to pink. Color three, color four, again, you could do multiple colors. It's just uh, these are ignored. This is more for comments, so you'll know what that is, and then you'll put the color number, equal sign, and then you'll put the RGB color code in there. So for the RGB color code, I just went to htmlcolorcodes.com, and on here you could see what color you want, uh, and what it'll do is it'll give you the RGB color code. So these color codes will pull this from here and you'll enter that. So let's say if I wanted to do color 5 and then let's say we wanted to do let's say we want to do red so we'll name it red so we know what it is and then our code will be color 5 equals and we'll put the HTML color code so we're looking at 250 comma 23 comma 0 and then the fourth number uh, I assume that's going to be your brightness uh, so we keep that 255 that's going to be maximum I haven't played around with that but I'm pretty sure that's going to be your brightness uh, so what we'll do is we'll hit file save we'll keep that in there let's say I wanted to change my uh, let's see well, well we'll get back to that but add all the colors that you want in here now if you go to fonts uh, you'll have all the different fonts for your string style your percent markers your sing uh, player and your launcher so I played around with these one by one to see what they would change uh, I didn't do drastic changes just so I could know what I was changing at that time so one thing I did add in here that wasn't was a font weight uh, I added this in here that what this did is made it more bold uh, because some of the numbers were hard to read from my external uh, or for the small LCD screen from you know from far away so what I did is I did font style, uh, font weight equals 900 that's close to maximum and you can find those settings in under rain meter documentation I went to string and in here they have a font weight and uh, you could scale it from 100 to 950 uh, so I did 900 which is pr very readable from far away and uh, within here you dictate what color they would be so actually we just added red in there so let's say we want to change string style to color 5 which is our red we're gonna hit file save and let's go ahead and refresh and there we go change that so 
let's say I want to go back uh, color one file save refresh and that changes affects all the skins because this is the foundation so if I refresh these they will all update so um, I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to three which is my gray and save so again play around with these settings to your liking uh, this is all your fonts which affects all of the skins um, what we could do is now go down to rings and um, they have different settings for each style of ring so this one right here is uh, right high I think it was <laughs> let's see so yes we're right high so if we go to our settings right high so right ring style right left high left low right and we wanted to change the uh, color code of that let's say we wanted to go to come my color 5 which is red go ahead and change that file save refresh there you go so I didn't change all this because these are your markers so these will be uh, let's see where's our markers percent marker style here's the colors so um, yeah definitely change the settings to your liking play around with it uh, make sure you just file save and and uh, refresh your skin to see what what's changed um, again quick rundown uh, to kind of help you better understand how to use it I'm no pro by any means it's just I started messing around with it got a better understanding of it and um, I'll definitely see how I like this I'm gonna try a to 64 next and definitely see how that compares but uh, yeah definitely let me know if you have any comments you know <laughs> any suggestions and uh, thanks for watching